What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We have big cat today, snow leopard sitting, paws out front. I'm on a landscape page, pencils and an eraser for these, sketch it out. You can always do ink on top of your pencil. So, center point of my page is about here, head will be in the top half. So we're just gonna start with the head, right? So we'll go up and, and the eye on this side. So head in this space, right? Big cat eyes, let's go. So we do a big curved line. Just to get us started, big curving line like so. Right, and cats have this sort of spike on the corners of their eyes, right? So a spike here and another sort of this way. And then the bottom of that eye curves around here. Right, that's the kind of shape we're dealing with. And then his iris, so a big sort of circle coming down from the top eyelid line, curving around like that. And the pupil, just sort of somewhere in the middle. And you can make this pupil bigger or smaller. It's kind of up to you. So all around this eye, we have just sort of black colored in. Like so. And sometimes with animals, it can be helpful to do just some hatching, just on like a shadow underneath the eyelid. Just some light hatching lines just there. Right, like that, just gives a sense of shadow just underneath that eyelid. So then we got like a bottom eyelid line, just like a little sort of white space that they have kind of just here underneath their eye, right? And on top as well. Okay, like that. There is of course more details around the eyes, but we'll just get the main features in first and then do the details. So eyes, you're about an eye and a half over. And so eye and about half. So this whole distance, like from the here to here, this whole space, we'll go across here once and like half. Okay, so you wanna start at about there. So it's like you fit an eye to about there and then maybe half an eye. It's just wider space than human eyes. So we go up and across again. And down to this sort of black spike in the corner. And the spike here and then comes around to the spike at the front. Color, blue colored iris just here. Do, 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 and the pupil just in the middle, sort of, I guess, sitting near the top of the eyelid here. You want to get them roughly the same size. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size, but just rough. And then we'll go black around the eye. Right, and then just some hatching lines just for the shadow underneath the eyelid. Like so. And then that white sort of line that comes around the bottom of the eye again. Sort of a sketchy line like that. And then an eyelid line or eyelash line on top. And it can be sketchy sort of wavy lines. They don't have to be straight or anything because he's a furry creature, you know. So we'll go for the nose now. So the distance between the eyes is the same as the distance between the eye, each eye and the sort of center of the nose or maybe the bottom of the nose. So like here to here, this space, right? Is the same distance as the nose, each eye to the nose. So like there and there, 
it's about the same, right? So you have this triangle that's about the same size on each side, right? So if you want to get your distance for your nose, measure from pupil to pupil, and it goes down, I would say, to like the bottom, the bottom tip of his nose. Right, so like you've got this little sort of W shape down here, right? So there to there, which should be about the same as there to there, yeah. And then there to there, roughly, right? So that distance is the same as that distance and is the same as that distance, right? So then the rest of that nose, right? So we've got like this pink sort of section carving out this way. So we just make the wings of that sort of a bit longer. And then it comes across to the top. Down to there. And then we have a line down the middle of the nose. So then we have this black section around the nose. So these kind of spikes that stick out here. And then they go down into the middle. The spike in there. And then down into the middle here. And like the eyes, they're colored black all around. Right, so some details around the nose. So we got like the bridge of the nose coming up into here, just this light sketchy sort of hairy line. And maybe coming right up the center of the head there, like so. Okay. So now the snout comes around from the center of the nose and goes back up into the corners of the eyes, right? So curving down here, this real cat-like. Sort of round, and it can be sketchy or hairy, furry looking, sort of round about, right? It's all black along the bottom, but we'll just get the main shapes drawn in first before we start adding spots and dark fur and stuff. So curving around, trying to keep it as even as we can. And this kind of lightly goes back up into the corner of the eye. Do -do, like so. So there's kind of a dark shadow in the center here where the lips sort of meet there. And then we have a furry beard sort of chin here. Like so. And then of course cats have whisker areas all on their mouth, right? So you just got these sort of three or four Sort of levels to this. And they kind of get kind of gradually bigger as they go out, right? So like darker on the edge. And on this cat, there seems to be like a big black section down here. So it all like blurs together into one dark sort of section there. Right, and you got like same on the other side. And of course, all the whiskers will come out from there. We've got to draw everything else before we do whiskers. Sometimes I forget whiskers. Okay. And there is some spots on the chin as well.
some just some fire and stuff. Okay. Now, so more details around the eyes, right? So leopards seem to have this sort of round sort of eyebrow kind of shape here, right? So it like curves around. It's like this furry sort of section just here. And there is some spots on it and stuff. It's just this kind of furry kind of eyebrow or something here. Right, and then I wonder if it's unique to snow leopards. I don't think it is, but it's kind of big on a snow leopard. And there is some like eyebrows or whiskers or something that comes out of it as well. So this kind of shape joins the snout down there. Right, and then we have like a top fur section in the corner of the eye. So just this furry kind of eyebrow, sort of bridge of the eye there, and a cheekbone sort of fur area here as well. Like that, right? And then the center line for the head sort of goes up that way. Boop. Okay. And again, like little sketchy sort of fur lines and stuff can add texture to things like that, if you want, not necessary all the time. Yeah, so we're gonna do the face shape coming out from the chin, around up to the ears, okay? So, and we're gonna go quite furry, right? So we're gonna go this way, sketchy. And you can go crazy furry or, you know, lighter sort of fur like that, right? So we just go out for the jaw, kind of lines up with the nose and the same on this side. Right, kind of like that. And then it'll travel up side of the head and start to sort of go around the eye then All right just up this way it's kind of sketchy and hairy textures right the top of the head will just be up here at the top of this line Okay, so the ears then sort of stick just out the top of the head here, curving around, kind of bump in once and stick out again there, same on this side. And again, it can be hairy line, doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Just stick it out here. Right, and then inner ear lines and some fur on the inside. So we'll go sort of an inner ear line just around here. And then like all this fur inside here. Right, and then 
same on the other side outside of that ear and then like all these furry spiking lines just inside there and we can do some texture lines on some hatching inside right so spots then on the face right so we've got like let's say coming around the cheeks right and the head we do the maybe we do the head first so like there's a dark sort of spotted area here on this eyebrow section it's the easiest place to start i think right and then like all these spots filling up the center of the head and eventually they start to like carve around here Like so, bigger ones sort of down here. Ear. This is like darker. So you're like going around the face with all these sort of and like some more sort of fur lines and things. Small ones in the middle, and then they kind of get bigger going around the head. You're just building it up bit by bit. All right. And it's kind of up to you when you want to stop, of course. You can just sort of keep adding. I'm just going to keep going until it looks kind of balanced, maybe. And like that there's a an evenness sort of to it, maybe. There's like one up here and up there. And you're just kind of going around the face, you know. Right. That's not bad though. Looks like a snow leopard. So the shoulders and the arms, very furry sort of cat, right? So we've got like big sort of furry kind of shoulders here and it comes down into a sort of a v-like section down into the center of the chest so like the shoulders kind of stick out a little bit and you got like this fur that sort of comes down in the middle like this sort of furry sort of center line there so it's like it's got like a big sort of cushioned sort of pillow neck kind of thing and this is like the side of the arm coming down here so this is the center line between the arms Bye. 
okay so you're kind of making it look sort of like it's got a big collar on do 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 and adding sort of fur lines and texture lines and stuff on the inside can help so this comes down to elbows and paws at the front. So we go like down to the elbow and then this kind of bends around here. It's kind of sitting on a rock or something. And so this is like the bend in the arm. down like so okay and then same on this side sort of thing right so furry and then there's like the elbow sort of here and then we've like another fur line Just carving around the elbow kind of thing. Right, and then we have toes and paws at the front, right? So cat paws are kind of like these sort of angles or spikes kind of sticking up like so. And they kind of land their furry as well. Spiky sort of at the front. Hairy sort of here at the front. And this other paw sort of crosses this one, right? So the four of them. And they're kind of big chunky things and very furry at the front right and the, the, where the nails come out is kind of like hairy as well Right, and you've got like these sort of paw lines and hand lines kind of there. Right. So what we can see of the back and the belly, you just have these sort of sketchy sort of lines back here and the hind leg is just kind of tucked in underneath the elbow or that's what it looks like at least just tucked in under there right so it's like sitting sort of happily like that and then the big sort of fluffy tail at the back right so it's it's quite a big tail so we'll kind of that's the rear so like say it comes out from the spine so that it comes down the spine and then like wraps around and comes out here so We'll like add it this way. That's very sort of, it's huge, right? So we'll go that big and a big sort of round top to it. sort of thing right it's a lot bigger than you'd think and 
it's very furry. Okay, so then spots all over the body and the tail. So we'll just thicken up these some of these edge lines. I'm gonna just make things a little bit darker so we can differentiate things and then we'll add spots on the body. And they're quite large on the body, so we just go for it, right? So we'll just start adding all these big black sections. I'm just placing them wherever I can see them. There's a good few on the legs coming down. And then just come along the leg inside here. So this is all like hair, belly, inside there, and then spots just on the paw here. Spots on the fingers as well. Doo -doo -doo. And then it seems like there's like loads on the tail and back here. So let's go. And it can be quite furry sections on the tail. And then back here as well, so like Okay. And make as much sort of texture lines and stuff as you want to put on this as well. And oh yeah, whiskers. So always forget the whiskers. So let's try and do this and they're quite big right they go like the length of the face like real long some of them are shorter obviously shorter closer to the mouth and they actually have some like eyebrow sort of whiskers up here like that yeah. right there you go snow leopard sitting hope it was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye